Hi there, this updates for Tuesday the 4th of April 2023. Um, last night I was again totally done in, uh, so we went to bed fairly sharpish again, um, and but had another really good sleep. Um, must have fell over, I don't know, what, about 10 o'clock, and that was me till roughly 3 o'clock this morning. So, um, good five hours solid sleep, which is unusual for me. Um, but again, there's more of the pins and needles in my leg that had the uh, cellulitis in it that, and the water retention that was causing the issues. So, got up, went to the toilet, stretched the legs a bit, um, and went back to bed. Uh, and then it was fine after that. So, but for some strange reason, struggled to get back to sleep. But uh, it was all good. Uh, eventually fell back asleep. Uh, and then again woke up about half five for the toilet. Again, pins and needles in the leg again. Um, but once I've been and go back to bed, it was fine. And that was me till the alarm went off this morning at uh, half past seven. So it was a pretty good sleep last night. You know, pretty pretty well um, settled. So no complaints there. I woke up this morning a little bit sore, as I said yesterday. Um, I spilt my quick acting um, pain relief. Uh, and that didn't help. That I hadn't taken some of that before bedtime. But I'd taken my long acting, so that was still in my system, which is all good. A wee bit anyway, but it was, it was getting time to take the uh, the morning dose. Um, so yesterday I went to the um, the nurse at the GP surgery to get my leg dressed, uh, and she was absolutely delighted with uh, how well it's progressed. Um, there was very little leakage. Uh, it was more just, I don't know, residue, I guess, um, with yellow pussy stuff. But again, that's just probably the fluids. Uh, so she gave that a good clean, um, patched it up, put a new dressing on, and... I, I mentioned to her about not being able to get the short or spelling the, sh the short term pain relief. So she went and spoke to the doctor and they prescribed me an alternative just now uh, because there's a two week wait for this uh, short term for the quick acting pain relief because of the um, supply issues. So they gave me an alternative. I've also contacted the um, liver transplant coordinators and they said the same, speak to my GP, see what they can do. If not, they write a prescription for me and I could get collect that at the hospital. Um, again, that's a wee bit of a trek to go and pick that up and get that sorted. So, all good there just now. Uh, so, as I'm speaking just now, um, I'm feeling a bit lethargic, a bit tired. Uh, I feel... Being honest, a bit spaced out. I'm um, looking at white backgrounds. Is bright, you know. I mean, bright is in like sharp points. It, it hurts your eyes. You've got to close your eyes. Again, that lasts for so long and then uh, disappears. Uh, so it's about time to get my lunch time. Med, which is just basically paracetamol, and if I need it, the short term pain relief. But I think I'll get away with just paracetamol just now, anyway. I uh, so this morning as well, uh, I had a call from my works uh, occupational health just to see what they can do to help get me back to work and give me support. Uh, Especially now with the back problems, um, 
and the sepsis and the cellulitis, just you know, just to recover from that, just see what sort of support the work can put in place to help me there. Also, um, get an assessment done at home. Um, I don't know what it's called, the DES or DSE assessment or something, um, to make sure my workstation at home uh, is fit for purpose for my needs and my chair as well. So they'll probably get that arranged and sorted out. But uh, I've been told not to go back to work until I feel ready. Uh, so I'm due to go back next Tuesday after the Easter bank holiday. So we'll wait and see what happens. I might try for another week's line or something like that to see how it goes. Um, so just going, going forward, that, that meeting this morning was all good. Um, the occupational health was a, I don't know, clinician, doctor, I'm not sure. Um, so he understood completely where I was coming from. He explained um, about the liver transplant, the side effects I've got from that, like the brain fog in, which is probably there just now, which is causing me to partly slur my speech and struggle a little bit. Um, and then also just to... As I said, go over the you know, the equipment reviewing sort of working from home plan, just like maybe two or three hours a day, um, taking rest breaks when I can, logging when I can, um, things like that. Things I've already discussed with my bosses anyway, so they were all supportive on that. So we'll see what happens when the time goes forward. Uh, so re read it all the meds I was on, explained to him about the uh, back when it first happened on the 20th of uh, December and what caused that. Um, it just got worse and worse and worse, the chronic back pain. Uh, been admitted to the hospital in February, then went back to work on the 6th of March. Uh, went to work the office on the 8th of March and my bosses thought I shouldn't be there because it didn't look right, which <laughs> in hindsight is probably correct because on the 9th I was actually rushed in the hospital with uh, um, sepsis and cellulitis. Anyway, uh, so I explained all of that, told them I was in there, what happened, uh, uh, again, fully supportive, read out all my meds that I'm currently on, uh, just so he's got a note of them as well, and um, he's going to write up a report from my work, he'll send a report, copy of the report to me as well, uh, and then from there, we'll take it from there. So I'll let you know what happens when the time comes. Anyway, I've blathered on too long today, too too much. Uh, <laughs> I'm really struggling a little bit here, so uh, I'll just say thank you, everybody, for listening to my moans and drones and groans and waiting on this transplant. But tomorrow, um, I have the... No, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday, I have the... Um, the liver transplant clinic appointment um, and after when they do all the assessment there, take bloods and blah de blah de blah, check the white blood cells account, uh, cell count, they'll probably then tell me there or either Thursday night or into Friday whether I'm going back on the list. Uh, fingers crossed to go back on the list and um, within matter of days I get a phone call to go and get the transplant. So anyway, so rather than blather on any longer, um, I'll just shut up and uh, go away uh, and I'll leave it for today. Thank you very much everybody for listening. Bye.